He has to have like a full support move set at that point. Dragon darts. Ow, it did two. That's sad. That is sad damage. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another episode of Boost at the Top of VGC 2021. Now, if you aren't aware, I have been live streaming on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with Saturday, li Saturday live streams being some kind of variety stream, I'm doing a Nuzlocke. So if you guys want to watch me ladder live over there, click the link in the description down below to check out my Twitch channel, I'm shooting for partnership and any support is appreciated. But yeah, on stream, we ended up reaching top 500, then losing to a 3,000 ranked player. So we dropped back up to uh, 711th. I don't know what our rank is at the moment now, because it has been a couple of days. I'm going to assume we're like 800 or 900 after the decay from other people reaching Master Ball. Oh, no, we're 1,177. Oh, yeah. So yeah, reaching, reaching like number one in the first couple of days in the format isn't too impressive, because there aren't many people in Master Ball. However, uh, yeah, I guess that's just a good way to explain it. Even a few days after I reach... Like, two days after I reach top 500, uh, I'm, I'm like already 1,177 from other people just being in the in the tier. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I'm bringing you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And comment down below what your favorite legendary is in the format. Uh, as you can see, I'm still running that Raikou Gigalith team. And yeah, Let, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's shoot for 200 likes. Um, also, brand new microphone. What's up? Thank you for all the support. I was able to get this um, microphone on sale. It's the Elgato Wave 3, and it's just it's just really cool having that mic. Like I just it's just a nice microphone. So Urshifu is going to be a huge issue for this team. I think I want to go Tapu Fini on lead because of that. Uh, Dust Clubs in the back is definitely good, and I think my last Pokemon is going to be Gigalith, and I feel pretty I feel pretty comfortable about that. Um, Essentially, what I want to do here is scare out the Urshifu on lead and get in my Dust Clops to set up the Trick Room. And then from that point on, they're pretty weak to Gigalith, so I feel comfortable with that. Also, let me know what you think about the new mic quality. From what I can tell, it's it's peaking a lot less. Uh, my voice sounds a lot more just smooth. And I've been told I have a very nice voice when it comes to uh, Pokemon. I don't know. I don't like my voice too much, but uh, over the years, I got used to it. So let me know if you let me know if you guys like my voice. Let me know if I should start a little podcast. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Moxie Boosted Experience. Today we have a guest. It is Sage in Park, like that. You know. <laughs> All right. So they ended up not leading off with uh, the thing I was fearing. I'm pretty cool with that. They might have Taunt on their Zapdos, but I think it's pretty unlikely. They're likely just yeah, they're just Psychic Surge. Uh, I get rid of their Psychic Train though. So what I'll do here is I will send in my Dust Clops and get off a Light Screen. That should be pretty safe. Uh, if they're taunt Tapu Finny, if they're taunt Tapu Lele, that'd be a, uh, that'd be an issue. So let's go for it. Uh, we can at least attempt it. Let me get my light screen off. I should outspeed everything with my Gigalith barring a, or not my Gigalith, with my Raikou barring a Choice Scarf on any of these Pokemon. And they're not Misty Seed on the, it, that's, that's interesting. They're not Misty Seed on the Zapdos or Psychic Seed, I think, unless I completely missed that. Maybe they are Psychic Seed and I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's Choice Specs. Okay. This shouldn't, this shouldn't do too much then. And the fact that they're Life Orb and Choice Specs kind of tells me they're probably not running Taunt. Thunderbolt does nothing. Awesome. So we eat those hits pretty well. I should always get off my Trick Room now. Um, I don't know if I want to hard switch into Gigalith because it feels pretty unsafe. I think I'll go for it. They should always, like, target into the, into the Dust Clops, if anything. So we'll get the Trick Room off, and then from there, we're in a very good spot, just board positioning-wise. I feel good about this. Because, um, with the light screen up in the sand, Moonblast won't even, won't be doing too much, even with, like, the, uh, even with the choice specs on that Tapu Lele. Does Zapdos even get Taunt? I'm pretty certain it does. As they withdraw, which means I should get off my Trick Room. And they get in the Metagross. I can live with that. That is a Will-O-Wisp waiting to happen. That shouldn't do much. Awesome. So, I get the Trick Room off. I'm not going to proc my Weakness Policy yet, because I would like to burn that Metagross. What I'm going to do here is Steel Spike into the Lele to boost my defense, and allow them to give me my Weakness Policy. Because they should go for that, I think. So we'll max Steel Spike into Lele. And I'll Will-O-Wisp into Metagross. That should be pretty safe. At least I hope so. 
Oh wait, guys, I'm an idiot. Guys, guys, please don't yell at me. There is a there is misty terrain on the on the field, guys. <laughs> I forgot. There was a Lele and I, I switched out my Finny, so I, I forgot that there's Misty Terrain. I'm an idiot. <laughs> At the very least, I'm probably getting my weakness policy, so that's something. <laughs> Why am I like this? Oh my god. And I, I'm, what's worse is that, like, if I wasn't a YouTuber, I wouldn't have to embarrass myself in front of everyone by doing that. But I'm not going to act like that never happens. That always happens to me. I will always forget about my own Misty Terrain. Yep, they Dynamax. They're probably going to Steel Spike. I'll get my Weakness Policy, but I'm only going to be at plus one. Steel Spike should be doing a decent amount to Landorus, though. Dang, I'm a moron. I don't want to give them their Weakness Policy, though, so I think what I want to do is just keep Steel Spiking. Yeah, yeah, they, they're like, what is this guy thinking? What is this guy thinking? <laughs> Plus one defense. I should take it relatively okay, even though I've taken some chip from the Moonblast. Just because Gigalith is so insanely defensive. Oh no, they went into Dusclops. Okay, this isn't terrible then. This actually isn't terrible, because I can give myself my own weakness policy. Hmm. Are they within range of plus one Steel Spike? I probably have to go for Rockfall, unfortunately. And I can't Bulldoze, because I'll just give them their weakness policy. Dang it. Alright. Alright, um, let me do this. I can Steel Spike and Nightshade to KO this Landorus, I think. I'm hoping that'll do enough. I definitely don't want to give them policy. I'd prefer them to give me my policy first. I don't think that's within range since they're at plus one. I would have had to rock fall, but I want to make sure that I'm getting as much defense boost as I can. Steel Spike. Into the Dust Clops that shouldn't KO at plus two defense. I think they're just going to Earthquake here. And get, try to give themselves their own uh, weakness policy. Uh, but I can Nightshade into the Landers for the KO and then go for a Max Quake. No, they just U-turn, okay. That's actually not bad, because I can burn if they try to get in the, the Lele. I would actually really like that. I might be able to salvage this if they don't go into Zapdos. If they do go into Zapdos, maybe I can do something, you know? They go into Zapdos. I'm going to assume the Landers just comes right back out, you know? Landers is probably just coming right back out. Uh, so... A Steel Spike probably makes sense into the Zapdos, just to get some defense going. I'll get in the the Raikou. I, or not the Raikou, but I'll get in the... Um, actually, how many turns of Trick Room are left? That actually does matter. There's two turns of Trick Room. Okay. I think here... I'm going to Steel Spike into the Zapdos, expecting the Landers to come right back out. And I'm also just going to Nightshade to play it safe. And I'll just Nightshade into that. I think Lander should always come right back out. Yep. So this gives me a defense boost. And it will definitely KO. I am at minus two, but at some point they have to give me policy, you know? Nice little bit of chip. Steel Spike. Kind of hoping they just steal spike into my Gigalith at this point. They quake. Okay. Gigalith? Nope. Dusclops. And I eat that up because I'm Dusclops. Sandstorm is going to knock me out, though. Hmm. Mist is gone. I can send in my... I definitely want to go Raikou here, and that's just because I can get in the Finny. What's going to happen is they should probably send in either Zapdos or Lele. If they get in Lele, I can get in my Finny to override their Psychic Terrain. Hmm. 
It'd be really cool to get a Reflect up late game. I played this so bad by going for Will-O-Wisp. Alright, uh, the Rock Slide seems pretty smart here. Their Dynamax ends. They should go for a Stomping Tantrum into my Raikou slot. So, I'll Rock Slide here. Maybe, maybe I can score a Flinch, and I'll get in the Tapu Fini. I think Late Game Reflect or Light Screen is going to be important. Because this, uh, this Metagross is going to be an issue. Luckily, Finny and uh, Raikou cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. I know this is a minus two rock slide, but it still should be doing a decent amount. Okay. Can you, can you just give me my policy? That'd be cool. No, they stopped me tantrum. Makes sense. Alright, and now they should just go for Thunderbolt and probably an Iron Head into the Gigalith. I kind of want to let them do that so I can Rock Slide for free. Because there's no way they KO me, right? Even with like Life Orb damage and stuff. Since I do have that Light Screen up still. Yeah, I still have two turns of screen. So I'll Rock Slide here. Just let them do whatever damage they want and I'll get back in the Raikou. And I should be able to set up a Reflect to make this a little bit safer. As they withdraw, which I'm cool with. If they end up going for the Iron Head, the Stomping Tantrum is going to... Or not Stomping Tantrum. This Rock Slide should actually hit the Lele relatively hard. And that might be within range of Thunderbolt. They go for the Iron Head. Don't flinch me. Oh no, it's just in the Raikou. Okay. Good damage at Rock Slide. Um, I mean, they should obviously go for a Psychic here. I'll Protect, and I'll get off my Reflect. Or maybe I just Thunderbolt. Eh, the Reflect seems pretty good. Because I only have a couple of turns of Light Screen left. I might be throwing here. The Psychic, Stomping Tantrum, I assume. Maybe they doubled. Nope. Okay. So now I can get rid of the Psychic Terrain. Light Screen wore off, so I'm actually taking a huge amount of damage. I can try to go for the double. But it doesn't feel safe. They should probably just go for, like, something into Gilith, you know? I'm going to Heavy Slam and I'm going to go for Muddy Water and just hope that this works out. <laughs> I probably already lost. It was that one turn where I completely messed up. Yeah, Gigalith's gone. Iron Head is going to be doing a solid chunk, even with Reflect. And Tapu Fini flinches. We'll go ahead and we'll forward there. With uh, Zapdos in the back, there's nowhere we're coming back from that. Yeah, I feel so stupid for going for the Will-O-Wisp. I feel so stupid. Alright. Let's try that again, but this time not forget about Finny's Misty Terrain. It's it's literally that meme I posted on the channel the other day where I was like, I need to stop going for Will-O-Wisp the same turn I switch in Tapu Finny, but I don't want to. <laughs> That's honestly how I feel right now. Ouch. 1600. Maybe I can, like, just claw my way back into top 1000 by the end of the video. I mean, we still got two more battles to do. By the way, I have finals next week. Finals are next week. Hopefully I can do well on my finals. Get some good grades this semester, you know? Ooh. Okay, so this is actually a phenomenal matchup for me. Gigalith goes insane if I can get uh, what I need going. I will once again lead off with uh, Raikou for screens, and I think Dusclops is pretty important here. I could also just go Incineroar Dusclops, to be honest. Yeah, I think I get more out of, out of Incineroar, to be honest. No Raikou this time. 
Uh, Gigalith in the back and Tapu Fini seems pretty good. Yeah, Incineroar is good for the Kartana. Otherwise, Kartana would mess me up. And I feel pretty comfortable about that. Because look at all the things that Gigalith absolutely tosses up. He tosses up Regieleki, he tosses up the Glacier, tosses up the Moltres. If I can get, you know, plus two, I can completely toss up the Tapu Fini. We just have to remember not to will wisp in Misty Terrain this time. <laughs> Moltres the Radiant and Regieleki, okay. So, there's no way Moltres one-shots me. They would have to go for a flinch. I would like to prevent screens entirely to make uh, my... To make the... Hold on. Weakness policy. Yep. Light clay. Makes sense. I would like to get up screen... Or not screens. Um, deny screens to make Gigalith's job a bit easier. I'll go for the fake out here on the Regieleki. And I'll trick room up. Uh, they don't knock me out short of a crit or a flinch. If they flinch me, I'll be a little bit upset. And then from there, I can just get in my Gigalith and go for, um, and go for Bulldoze. They could Nasty Plot here too, which would be scary. But I can at the very least Parting Shot if that happens, you know? Yep, yeah, probably going to Nasty Plot. Fiery Wrath. Yeah, they're going for flinch. Don't you dare flinch me. If you don't flinch me, I'm in a really good spot here. There we go. Okay. So now I can pretty safely get in the Gigalith and go for my Bulldoze. Fiery Wrath shouldn't do too much to Gig. And uh, we'll Bulldoze up. I could also try to knock out the Regieleki. I guess it wouldn't make too big of a difference if I just doubled into Regieleki here. It's not like they can KO my Dusk Hops without Dynamaxing. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. Um, hmm, is that my play? Yeah, Denying Screen seems pretty good, so we'll double into the Reggie Lucky with Nightshade Flare Blitz. This should do the trick. Nice. So they go for Fiery Wrath. Shouldn't knock me out. Nice. So what comes in? Maybe their own Dusclops? I could Parting Shot that Moltres too. They get in their Tapu Finny. Okay. Now, Tapu Fini feels like it could be annoying. Hmm. I could also make them give me my weakness policy here. So here's what I, here's how I'm going to do that, right? I'm going to Parting Shot into Tapu Fini since it does the most damage to my Gigalith. I'll get him my Gigalith for the Dusclops. And then I can bring in whatever I need to to finish the job. Because I think they're just going to Muddy Water here. And uh, at minus one with Sand Up, Muddy Water shouldn't do too much. If they Dynamax Finny, that could be annoying, but I think we're alright. Because they wouldn't go for a Max Geyser into the into the Dust Clops in any situation. That would make no sense. Moltres protects. Awesome. Hopefully they go for the Muddy Water and connect onto my uh, Gigalith here. Parting Shot. I'll get in my own Tapu Finny. And then uh, I think Gigalith goes absolutely insane. Okay. You go for the Dazzling Gleam, that's fine. Hmm. I'm not too scared about Moltres. I'm more concerned about Tapu Fini. 
I definitely want a Dynamax Gigalith as the thing, though. They protected Moltres last turn. I think my play is double. Yeah, I'll just start removing things in the field. Tapu Fini is at minus one. I'm not too scared of it. My Trick Room is running out, though, so I have to, I have to play these next couple of turns very carefully. There's the Kartana. That's fine. And Sinner is still at full health, so... And we should just KO this Moltres. If they burn their Dynamax, that'd be actually really nice. Ah, they're gonna burn their Dynamax. Awesome. So we're gonna give them Weakness Policy and stuff, but I... I don't think they take a max rockfall too well. I really don't think they take this max rockfall too well. And as long as the Tapu Fini doesn't Dynamax, I feel comfortable with the rest of this game. This should be doing a lot. Oh yeah, this thing's gone. That's why you run bulk in your Moltres. It might have been able to take the hit if they ran some bulk, but that looks like it's max speed. Moonblast, awesome. Nice. And I believe that was the last turn of my Trick Room, right? There might be one more. If there's one more, I just win. Okay. Yeah, I'm still under Trick Room, so... <laughs> I feel pretty good. Um, Tapu Fini hasn't revealed Protect yet. What I'll do here is I'll get an Incineroar. And... Um, I'm more concerned with Tapu Fini than Kartana. I'll go ahead and I will Steel Spike into Tapu Fini. Should do a lot. Boost my defense as well. Because if they protect Finny and try to go for a Leaf Blade, I'll take it relatively well. No, they don't protect the Finny, so this is going to be doing a chunk. Nice. And I'm assuming Kartana just leaf bladed. As they scald into the Incineroar. Good read by them. That was a very good read. Sacred Sword. Eh, but they also just gave me weakness policy, so I feel pretty good here. Since I'm only on I, I still have a turn of Dynamax, right? In the Tapu Fini. Yeah, because the first turn I rock falled into the Moltres, the second turn I went for Steel Spike. I don't think I go down here. Yeah. Um, the way we win is doubling into Kartana. I think. I think I protect my, my uh, Tapu Fini here. Kartana is more of a threat than anything. Quake does the most. Yeah. I'm assuming they're Assault Vest. They can't Scald Burn me either. Leaf Blade, don't crit. Nice. Scald, don't crit. They crit. Oh no, that just does that much. That's funny. And we pick up a KO. They were, a, they were Focus Sash or something. Oh no. They weren't Focus Sash. What am I saying? I, I don't know why. I just always expect for Kartana to take physical hits, even at plus two. Anyways, I win. <laughs> Since Tapu Fini has plus one special defense. Because I knocked him out from full health, didn't I? Yeah. So that wasn't Assault Vest. Weird. I mean, Kartana has good, you know, physical defense. It doesn't have good 
bulk with the HP, but I, I suppose it makes sense for it to get KO'd from that range. Alright, and we can just heavy slam, not risk not uh, risk a miss or anything. As they go for the Scald. And my Gigalith, I don't think it matters too much. And we know they're faster than me, so the correct play here is to Moonblast and go for the uh, Trick Room. Oh no, they just get KO'd. And we completely ignore their berry range, so that's awesome. So we managed to pick up a win there. I'm assuming we're going to hit like 1200 with that. We have one more battle, so it's going to be a slightly longer video. Let me see what that Kartana was. Oh, Specs Finny. That explains the damage. Okay. Oh, they did have bulk. Gigalith is just that strong. Okay. And they were Assault Vest. Wow, I, Gigalith is just that strong. Shout out Gigalith, dude. You can't sleep on Gigalith. He's actually a threat in this format. Yep, about 1,200. One more battle and we'll be top 1,000 again. Daniel, rank 5,000. Ooh, maybe even if we win this one, we might not be, just by the rank. Ooh, okay, hold on. This is like beat up Dragapult plus Cobalion shenanigans. That's, mmm, okay, that's a little scary. Um, My Raikou outspeeds Cobalion so I can get up a screen and go for Trick Room. And then Gigalith goes insane once. This is just the Gigalith show today. We'll go We'll go Tapu Fini. All right. Uh, I would bring the Incineroar to threaten the Cobalion on lead, but I, I don't think I would even come close to one-shotting it. So I want to get up a screen to ensure that I always get off the Trick Room. They'd have to crit me. Dragon Bolt Cobalion, okay. They're probably just going to beat up, and if they don't, I still get off my Trick Room since uh, there's no way they one-shot the Dusclops. Or I guess they could, like, Iron Head plus whatever. Light Clay, Assault Vest. Yeah, that means it's a bulkier one, so we'll get off the Reflect, and we'll Trick Room up. It seems about right, yeah. I'm assuming they're just going to beat up, but, you know. Raikou outspeeds Cobalion by a decent amount. Because I made sure that my Raikou's faster than pretty much every Kartana, I believe. Unless I completely forgot my Raikou spread, I, I might I might have lost here. <laughs> I'm like 90% certain, but now I'm now I'm psyching myself out. I'm I'm faster than you, right? Because I'm not running absolute max speed, but I'm running enough, I think. I forgot. Might need to adjust my Raikou spread if this doesn't work out. Guys, I'm scared. Come on. Raikou, you gotta be faster here, otherwise we lose. And we get to sit through this whole animation. And another one. And another one. And done. Now we get to find out if I'm an idiot. I hope I'm not. Okay, alright. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> Watch him have a dark move on the Cobalion. No, Max Rockfall. I don't know why he went for that, of all moves. I can burn him now, and then he's just he's just completely neutered for the rest of the game. Trick room. Hee-hoo. Trick room. Um, I kind of want to get in the Gigalith, but I'm scared of him going for a plus four max knuckle into me. I mean, if I get the Will-O-Wisp off, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Max knuckle is not too strong coming off of Cobalion, even at plus four, like comparatively. All right, let's hope that they don't target the Raikou. I think they should always go for the, the thing that isn't Raikou, right? Please? I need to land this Will-O-Wisp, don't I? I definitely need to land this Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> Maybe I should have sacked the Raikou. I don't know. I didn't think that one through. But 
On the bright side, if I land the Will-O-Wisp, I don't even have to go for Bulldoze. I can just attack the Cobalion. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Huh, viewers? That'd be pretty cool. Alright, moment of truth. Am I an idiot? We we keep doing idiot checks in this in this battle. We keep doing idiot checks. Okay. Landed it. And he's a salt vest, so it's not like he's lum or anything. Max Rockfall, we're good. Oh, we are good. Why are you only clicking Max Rockfall? Alright, the Max Knuckle actually would have done quite a bit. Max Knuckle actually would have done quite a bit, to be honest. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and bulldoze, and I'm going to actually steel spike into the Dragapult to ensure I take as little as I can from this Cobalion. Since his Dynamax ends next turn, there's no way he actually one-shots me through all this. And I'll bulldoze. Yeah, that's my play. Um, even with Reflect, plus two steel spike should be doing quite a bit. And then his Dynamax ends, and I should be fine. Since he's just going to knuckle or steel spike or something. I don't know why he keeps going for Rockfall. Like, literally, Steel Spike would have done more than either of those. Or I guess Rockfall and the Raikou made sense, but why'd he Rockfall into Dusclops? That didn't make any sense. Maybe he was trying to make a read. You know, he could have been trying to read Incineroar coming in for Dusclops, but I wasn't scared of Dragapult. Like, no Dusclops truly fears Dragapult. Get that bulldoze off in my policy. Go for the steel spike on the Dragapult, get to plus one, maybe knock it out. Do we believe in, in Gigalith? I think I believe in Gigalith. You're knocking him out. You're knocking him out. Gigalith, can you can you one shot this man with a steel spike through reflect, please? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean he goes down to sand, it's fine. And there's no way he's doing much damage to the Gigalith at this point. If he's dual screens, he's not. He's definitely not Will-O-Wisp, so I feel, I feel good about what I just did. Yeah, he's dual screens beat up. He has to have like a full support move set at that point. Dragon darts. Ow, it did two. That's sad. That is sad damage. <laughs> Alright, um, Cobalion should be in range. Even with all this, I think he's within range of Max Quake plus Nightshade. We have a very scary Gigalith on the field. Close combat's about to hurt, though. I can tell you that much. Needle Queen. Okay, maybe we should... Maybe we should focus down the special attacker at the moment. We still have a whole turn of Dynamax. I'm pretty sure we can take it. Yeah, let's focus down the Needle Queen. I don't want to lose this guy immediately. And I can, I can probably take a close combat. It's going to be close, though. Max Quake. And I will also Nightshade to play it safe. I'm assuming they just double went to Gigalith here. That's what I would do at the very least to ensure I can KO it. Cobalion can't protect, so... Alright, cool. We got rid of that. We get a special defense boost. Doesn't really matter in the situation, though. Critical hit. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered too much, I think. I actually don't I don't even think it would have survived. Then again, I mean Needle Queen is pretty bulky. And they did have a reflect up. Nightshade, decent damage, I assume. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Close combat, do I live? Yep. <laughs> Why is this thing so bulky? <laughs> he's got no business being this bulky, and now he's one hundred percent within range of uh, Max Quake and he can't avoid that damage. Since he's assault vest. Unless he has like an ally switch user in the back. That'd be the only way. I know for a fact he doesn't have redirection. Yeah, there's Zapdos. Um, I should just win by virtue of Raikou, who outspeeds. So uh, we'll max Quake this boy. Oh, not not that boy. He's immune. <laughs> max Quake here into Cobalion. And we'll go for the Will-O-Wisp into you. And I think they're just going to forfeit here. No, they're playing it out. Yeah, you're not taking this. And if I land this Will-O-Wisp, it's over.
Nice. Okay. I've been really accurate in my will-o'-wisps with, uh, yeah, will-o'-wisps with Dusclops. Shout out to Aaron Zhang for missing five in a row in a really, really important match. Uh, and then making Game Freak buff it because of that. Wow, that did nothing. That did nothing. Now, for science, I'm going to do something. For science, I will allow Gigalith to take this close combat. He's at plus one defense behind a reflect, and the opponent's burned. For science, we will allow Gigalith to take the hit, because it doesn't matter. Nightshade. For science. Don't forfeit, please. Nah, okay. Well, unfortunately, we, we don't get to do any science today, so. <laughs> Alright, I think with that, we're probably top 1,000 again. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and check that out. Ranked battles. I wish you could update your rank without getting into another battle, like, from that screen. Alright, let's see. Yeah, 927. Not bad. No longer within the quadruple digits. So yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the support lately. We're really close to 20k subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, answer the comment question of the day, leave a like, do everything for, you know, support reasons. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.